Welcome back to Genuine Core guys and this is the 10th video in the JDBC tutorial series and uh, in the last video I have shown how to delete a member from the database and in this video I will show you how to do batch operations. Batch operations means uh, suppose you want to insert 10 members or n members into the database at a single stretch then you can go for batch operation i mean a set of sql operation is called batch operation and it can be done very easily so so in order to illustrate the use of batch operation i'm going to insert something like five members in a single execution so let's see how we can do that so for that i'm going to write a new function void add batch a simple function and inside that just like before I'm going to make use of a statement object so statement stmt equals connection dot create statement this is the file that we have used in the beginning of this tutorial series uh, this file just uh, this is the file that we have used for creating a table in the database and this function will connect the database the our Java program into the data mysql database so a statement stmt equals con.create statement and it throws some exception so i am just using the try catch and in say that i'm i can add stmt dot add batch this is the function that we are going to use to do batch operations so in say that i am going to write the sql command so insert into users to which is our table name and values and i'm going to use some name for the sake of simplicity i'm going to give the user one and the age to something like 25. so that is one instruction so that is one uh, sql instruction suppose i want to add five members then i can make uh, just copy and paste it in that means you can replicate a row by control shift and uh, bottom arrow so down arrow so that is one three four five so now I got five insertion and uses two, uses three, uses four, uses five. And here I have to change the age to something different. So two, three and 77. So we, uh, you can add all the operation that you want to execute in this add batch section. Then all that you have to do is stmt dot execute batch. So this is the function that we want to use. So execute batch returns an integer array. This integer array will help us to understand whether the operation was successful or not. So in order to take care of the result, I am going to create a new array. So int ar equals stmt dot execute batch. So uh, the result is in such a way that if the execution was success, suppose the first execution was success, then ar of zero will be either zero or a positive number like one two three four something like that since this affects one row the result will be one if it is successful and some kind of negative value if it is an error so in order to display the results i am going to make use of a for loop and this is the uh, symbol for loop for each integer i value present in the array i'm going to display it so system.out.println then i so that's it. Uh, the next thing that we have to do is to close the statement stmt dot close. So that's fine. Now let us just run the program. And before that, I have to call it from here. So pro dot and batch. This function is used to connect our Java program with the MySQL database. And before executing it, let me show you the current table. Select star from users two, and there are only two members, genuine coder and Linux min. And I'm going to execute this. So I'm going to shift, uh, press Shift F6, and you can see that uh, the database connection success, which is from this great connection, and all the uh, integer values which was returned after insertion is one so the result is a success in order to make sure that these values are properly inserted let me execute the select star from command so select star from users to and you can see that we have four five members so that's it guys that how you use batch operations for adding multiple users or for doing batch operation 
in your database and one more thing that I have to show you is this is the simple statement option suppose you want to make use of prepared statement then the syntax is somewhat similar let me show you how to do that so prepared statement stmt equals con dot prepared statement and here we can execute only similar kind of uh, operation since this is a prepared statement here I'm going to do insertion again so insert into users to and values instead of giving uh, direct values I'm going to make use of the question marks so now we have a statement now we have to assign values for these two question marks so for that I'm going to use stmt dot set string the first value is definitely string the name so I'm going to set it as <coughs> users 6 then the second value is stmt dot set integer we are setting the age so that will be 2 and let the age be 25 so that's fine now in order to add this into a batch you have to make use of stmt dot add batch this method will add this statements in as a batch so that's the end then suppose you want to add one more user since this is a batch operation first you have to clear these inputs so for that stmt dot clear parameters will clear this users 6 and 25 from the prepared statement and we can set it again stmt dot set string and I am going to set the uh, credential for the second user so that will be user 7 user 7 and stmt dot set integer and that will be the second parameter which is the age and 31 then stmt dot add batch and so the second batch operation is also added into the prepared statement now i am again going to clear the parameters so stmt dot clear parameters now let us just execute this right so in order to execute it we can make use of previous syntax and result equals and stmt dot execute batch it is just like before execute batch and this integer array will represent the result status and i want to show it that too so i'm going to use a simple integer and system dot out dot print ln and i'm going to show the result here so that's it now let us run the program again and I'm going to press shift F6 and as you can see this one was also success so this is ex similar to what we had done before but in uh, we are using prepared statement here and in order to make sure that the insertion was successful let me come back here and uh, execute the select star from users to again so select star from users to there is an error uh, let me do that again uh, I forgot to select the yes that's the problem so I'm just executing it. So there you can see users 1, users 3, uh, users 4 and up to this we have instead of using normal statement and users 7 and users 6 is added through the prepared statement. So that's it guys. That's how you uh, do batch operation in JDBC. As always, thank you for watching this video and like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos.